Hello, Facebookers, my Facebook friends, my followers on Instagram, Twitter. Where else am I? Oh, good God. YouTube. Yeah, this is going on YouTube, too. How y'all doing today? Uh, I'm calling this installment of my Facebook live stream Being a Miracle Witch, which is what I am. The three levels of power that I teach and live by. Magic, miracles, and mysticism. Well, the magic part of it's obvious. I'm a witch. My house is warded. My car is protected. Uh, the miracles part, though, I wanted to focus on a little bit today because I'm teaching miracles with Mark tonight. Now, it is based on A Course in Miracles. I've been a student of Course in Miracles 20 years. Oh, my God. No, since the early 90s, at least. So, yeah, uh, reading um, A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson in hardcover uh, was my first introduction to The Course in Miracles. And, of course, a lot of spiritual teachers refer to The Course in Miracles. So I got the blue book, uh, you know, the big book by the Foundation for Inner Peace, and uh, really, really did my best to make my way through it a bunch of times, particularly the workbook of 365 Days of Lessons. Good morning. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Tony Ann. <laughs> I think I just had a joyous fun school moment. Anyway, romper room, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I didn't make it all the way through the... Um, the 365-day workshop, obviously. Good morning, Carol Ann. Uh, until um, a dear friend of mine told me to read The Disappearance of the Universe by Gary Renard. I did, and it was just like the can opener to the can, and, and that's certainly not been said by me first. And then I did do the, the workbook and read the text and the manual for teachers and uh, the Song of Prayer and the psychology pamphlet and all of that stuff really got into it and have, has really been my spiritual spine. And I've been saying for decades now that The Course of Miracles is my spiritual spine, meaning that it's the core of my spiritual practice. But, you know, I'm a translator and a facilitator. I translate different spiritual languages like a Virgo ruled by the intestines. I sort of break it down and extract from it uh, that which is most helpful, and then I translate it to other people. You know, facilitator, uh, the root word facile is French, it means for simple. So I try and make things in, these things simple for people. Uh, and the Course in Miracles is simple but not easy. That's why that's uh, <laughs> burned in wood over the pen board of the silver broom. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about, not just tonight, because, you know, I'm going to be teaching it every other week, uh, alternating with the path of true love, which is also a miraculous path. But that, you know, we have some weird definitions of miracles. Certainly a miracle is something that defies natural law. You know, but we use that word in other ways. Mm, that coffee is miraculous. No, it's not. It's just coffee. Um, that the Course in Miracles is really about forgiveness. And if they called it the Course in Forgiveness, no one would read the book. Because uh, the ego mind, uh, the resistant mind, the limited mind... Uh, has such resistance to forgiveness because it knows that if we consistently forgive, it will die because it's not real. It's an illusion. Uh, it lives on illusion and shadow and feeds on our energy in order to preserve itself. But it is mechanical. It's not personal. So it's not like the devil or Satan or demons. But metaphorically, it sort of is. And because there's only one ego mind, although an illusion can't be real. Yeah, that's why tonight we're, we're rebooting the whole series. We're starting with the basics. Um, I'm tossing out all the old videos, even the stuff I have up on Vimeo. Um, I'm going to replace it with new stuff. Um, because I really want to orient it specifically towards witches. I think witches pick up the Course in Miracles or read about it, and they see words like God and Christ, and Holy Spirit, and the Sonship, the Son of God, and, you know, they have this uh, reaction to it, not a response, a reaction that it's Judeo-Christian, and it's really not. Um, it, it uses Christian terminology, certainly, but in very non-Christian ways, it's almost like um, Buddhism in some ways, uh, that it deals with the healing of the mind, although it, it does say really simply, God is where Buddhism is not necessarily talking about God. Um, so the reason why I want to teach this to witches is because we don't really have a context for forgiveness. Have you noticed? Oh, I'll come across a meme every now and again about a forgiveness spell, but they are few and far between. 
But there is no happiness without forgiveness. There's no healing without forgiveness. And not the kind of forgiveness you were raised with, not with that well be the bigger person and forgive them, which is sort of like, I forgive you. You still did it. You're still a guilty bastard, but I forgive you because I'm going to be the bigger person. That doesn't heal. That's the ego's uh, form of forgiveness called forgive forgiveness to destroy. Very difficult for each person, yes, Gail, but that's why The Course in Miracles exists as an accelerated path to understand forgiveness up based on the, the Newtonian physics, which is I and you are separate, but in the quantum model that we are all one. So all forgiveness, really, the way The Course in Miracles teaches it, is self-forgiveness. And have you noticed how you can repeat patterns of relationships, right? Like dating the same person in nine different bodies? Mm. Yeah, I've dated the same person in nine different bodies, that's for damn sure. Because it's always going to be your lesson being repeated, and that's a compassionate thing. It's like you don't want to give a four-year-old, you know, keys to the car, stick it in the ignition, the keys, not the kid. <laughs> Put them in the driver's seat, get them something to hit the pedals and teach and, and let them drive. No, you want to wait until they are ready for that sort of thing. So it, it, it does teach how to forgive, how to truly forgive so that you heal, so that you grow, so that you evolve, so that your relationships, well, maybe they get better. Well, better and worse is an ego uh, judgment for sure. It separates uh, and and qu quantifies. But, you know, the spirit, the truth of who you are, the Course calls the Holy Spirit, all of us together as a whole, W-H, it doesn't spell it W-H-O-L-Y, it should, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit, is, if you like, the collective of all the higher selves as one thing. And so that you come, <laughs> Tess, freaking yes, and they are all my mother. <laughs> well, but doesn't that make sense? What are your primary relationships when you're a child, mother and father, or lack thereof? So abandonment issues, neglect issues, smothering issues, control issues that we then play out in all of our relationships, not just the romantic, but that does seem to be the prime area. So uh, the Course says that the gates of heaven are open two by two. That doesn't mean you have to find your soulmate or your twin flame, throw up in my mouth, uh, but that it is through our relationships that we get our lessons delivered. Okay, ready? Pentacle halo. Really, I love doing that. I am. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be teaching this, but I'm going to put it in a language and in a way and in explaining to witches what this stuff is about because the Course in Miracles is not a religion. There's no Course in Miracles diet. There's no Course in Miracles workout. There's no special clothing. It's not a cult. It is a system of spiritual psychotherapy, a mind training so that you continually, continually, continually practice forgiveness. And it is a practice. Um, with, for me, there, well, there are a couple of end goals. One is to, to be at peace, inner peace, meaning that no matter what happens in this world, you kind of get that it's just another lesson and you just automatically uh, shift your default to forgive, 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 real true forgiveness, instead of what we're set to. We are set to condemn and judge. It's just instant. It's like a, a reflex, you know, like a, a knee-jerk reaction, where this training trains you to make that forgiveness the thing, to make forgiveness your dominant choice, your decision, because happiness is a decision I must make. And he even said, it, The Course of Miracles says, would you be happy or would you be right? Now, most of us would say, can I be both? And yeah, sometimes. Um, but really, happiness is not dependent upon what others do. It's about how you respond rather than react. So I'm looking forward to teaching this tonight. Um, Course in Miracles has saved my shit more times than I can count, uh, particularly in the romantic uh, venue. Uh, breakups and trying to understand where people come from and when they do crazy shit, but insanity can't be understood. It's insane. And we're all insane in a sense and that we really believe the illusion that we're separate from each other. If you believe something that's an illusion, that's kind of a good foundation for being insane, right? So we're all mad. We're all crazy. And particularly in the political environment that we're in, don't we need miracles that as you forgive, you don't just heal your mind. There is a level of mind 
where we are all one, right? We always keep friends and let it go. Some harder to forgive, kept at a distance. If harm comes to you too much, no. Well, but then there's the thing, if we're all one, who's harming who? Who's harming who? That, you know, stub your toe, that's pain. Complain about it all day long, that's suffering. So we create, well, I should say, we make our own suffering because The Course in Miracles has a clear distinction between um, truth being creation and illusion being made. So we do make our own suffering. And so, you know, the reason why I'm so stalwart about The Course in Miracles in my own personal life is yes, I am a translator, I am a bridge, I try and help people to forgive in the true sense, so that they break the chains of illusion. You know, to me, the opposite of true love is chains of illusion. And I've been with all sorts of people, not just romantically, but I think it's highlighted mostly in my romantic life, of men in particular who who want true love, who want something real, but their own chains hold them back, but they are the chains of illusion. They're based in fear. They're based in shadow. They're based in nothingness, but they feel so damn real. Also because of the collective pain, Linda Barnes, learning to forgive yourself is a true miracle as well. I mean, truly forgiving yourself. Yes. And that's what the course is saying. If we're all one, and this is a holographic uh, illusion based reality, I don't know how you can call an illusion a reality. Then every time you forgive, you are forgiving yourself. Because at the core, we are one, and we all have hidden pain. What is it? Our, um, our, our hidden hates and our secret sins uh, that we project onto other people. So if you really hate somebody, or you really condemn somebody, you are condemning yourself. You're forging another. What are we smoking these days? Uh, American Spirit Yellow? Organic tobacco. I call it a vitamin with a filter. It's good stuff. Uh, it tastes good, too. Mmm. Mmm. Because I am not a body. I am free. And we're not bodies. We're not bodies. We're spirits. You've had more bodies and you have clean underwear at the moment. So that's why I'm teaching this stuff every other week. So that we can free ourselves. And you don't have to tell people you forgive them. In fact, that's a big lesson I learned. Don't tell people you forgive them unless they ask. You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. So that there's less guilt in the mind, there's less pain in the mind, so that you can enjoy your cigarette and you can enjoy sex. I mean, how much guilt is based around sex? And that's all just illusion. Oh, go study Tantra. It's good stuff. So uh, really looking forward. I keep saying I'm looking forward. I am looking forward to teaching Course in Miracles. And I'm really going to give it my best. And I already have students who are coming tonight. So uh, I'm going to record it. I'm going to edit it sooner or later. I got a lot of stuff to, to edit. Um, and put it up on Vimeo. And please go check out my Vimeo page. Vimeo, I think it's slash DTCP for Drawing the Circle Productions. Uh, you know, follow me there. And I always put the trailers for this stuff on YouTube. All my YouTube stuff is free. So Drawing the Circle uh, is the name of my channel on YouTube. Go like, follow, subscribe, uh, hit notifications so that you get a notification when I post something new on there. Like I said, we just hit 100 videos. And uh, that's part of my creativity, but I'm finding that my life on the outside, yes, it's getting better than it gets worse. It gets better and that, that gets worse. We're in a dualistic paradigm. That's how it goes. Um, <laughs> I'm very keen on sex. Me too. Uh, you are awesome too, Peter. I miss you. And please uh, give my love to your wife and your children. Miss you all. You're such a fun family. My crystal man. Upstate. Uh, and that's the thing. Love is who we really are, but... You know, The Course in Miracles does not seek to teach the meaning of love, for that is beyond what can be taught. It does seek, however, in how to remove the obstacles to love's presence, which is which are those chains of illusions, the fears, the guilt, the shame that, that is within us as a, as a human race. I don't know that my cats have that much guilt. Who knows? Um so that we can grow and evolve. And, oh, so like I said, one of the goals of the Course is inner peace, but another is, is to awaken from the dream of multiplicity, to awaken, to be awake within this world, to know that it's an illusion more than just mentally, and to know that every relationship that you have is delivering your next lesson so that you can graduate. Yes, I want to graduate. I want this to be, my, like, in, dolf, in, in dolphins. Oh, my God, I was doing it from the end dolphins. Postcards from the edge. Um, I'm pretty sure Carrie Fisher is one of my spirit guides now. Anyway, so I have to get going. I have to make a Bayshore run today. I've got a reading. I've got to feed the cats. I've got to scoop litter. I've got to da, 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 da. Tomorrow's another busy day, too. 
Um, but hey, it's all part of the path and it's all part of what I'm trying to get done in this life because I've said it, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times when I croak, if they say to me, well, do you want to incarnate again on planet earth? I'm going to say, do I gotta, did I finish the curriculum? Did I graduate? What else you got is a big universe. I'd like to see what else is out there or at least extra dimensionally what else is out there. Um, and that is really why I'm teaching it. Because the more I teach it, the more I practice it, and the more I practice it, the faster I go. And I will say, as far as spiritual paths go, the Course in Miracles is the fastest. I mean, your shit will come up, but better up than in, you know, better in than out. It's like a detox in that way. It flushes it to the surface. But um, considering the number of romantic relationships I've had in this life, I think I'm doing pretty well. Not that the end goal is to live happily ever after. That's an end but that I use every relationship, particularly the romantic ones, so that I can heal, so that I can accelerate my own spiritual path. And by the way, not just romantic, my family relationships, friends, uh, people who don't even know my name, uh, certain political officials, that any guilt I see in you is but my own guilt projected, because this is my dream, so I forgive us both for what never occurred, and I release you to the Holy Spirit. Now there is only peace. It's a good forgiveness technique. All right, people, I got to get up and out of here. I got to do food shopping today, too, running low on cat food. Yeah, it doesn't mean that you become a miracle worker or a miracle witch, if you will, and then just everything falls in your lap. Sometimes it does, but, you know, then the flip side of that is things are taken away. Um, I would love to say that we learn most through our joy and our pleasure, but unfortunately that seems not to be true. That we learn most through our pain our suffering. It teaches us something. It's the alchemy of turning lead to gold and forgiveness is the universal solvent. All right. So I'll leave you with that. I'm out of here. I got to get it on the road and go do stuff. Love you all. Have a great day. We'll try and do this again soon. Blessed.